Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you what to do on your first boot. So you've installed Ubuntu, uh, maybe you've watched my other videos on how to customize it, how to use it, but this video will be purposeful for those that want to use the internet, want to listen to music, just want to use the computer for general things, and what things you will need for that, what applications you need for it. So um, this is going to pertain to a lot of few things, uh, I'll just give you a list here. Uh, if you want to play YouTube, which it needs Flash, if you want to use Java applications, if you want to play MP3 files, uh, play DVDs, and so on, this will all be pertaining to this. Um, so this is a few things we're gonna have to install. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, delete. Okay, now under applications. Oh, first of all, first of all, you want to update your computer. So as soon as you boot up, go ahead and go into Update Manager. Do one thing real quick first, go into settings, then go to uh, make sure you install security updates without confirmation so that all the security updates are started, uh, installed as soon as they're available. And then other software, make sure you click um, these two, the top two, <coughs> the Canonical Ubuntu partner and the Canonical Ubuntu part partner source code. Those two will give you extra applications such as Java, so make sure those are uh, alive not alive, but they're activated. And this one's not supposed to be there, it's just a copy. And there we go. And then once you edit this area, it'll tell you to reload, go ahead and press reload, and that'll update the database for all the applications that are available to you. Now after that's done, we're gonna go ahead and do an update to the computer. Uh, just a very quick one. Usually it takes maybe 10 minutes, not that long. So after this is done, building. Okay, just go ahead and press check. For me it might not show anything because I've updated it already, but once it checks, it takes a little bit of time. Alright, and it's thinking, 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 thinking some more. Okay, well for me I don't have updates, but once you press check for you, you should have a list of different updates. Uh, you can also do descriptions of the update, but go ahead and just click install updates, uh, put your password in, and let the installation go through. Like you can pause this video and then go to do or whatever, but that's just what you have to do for the very first time. So now that you're done with that, after the update, go ahead and go into Applications and Ubuntu Software Center. <coughs> so the first thing we want to install is the Ubuntu Restricted Package. This is basically everything we need: MP3, AVI, MPG, TrueType, Java, Flash, Codecs, etc. Basically, a big old package of everything that you ever need to use on Ubuntu. So it's a really good, really good package to have. Uh, especially if you want to listen to music, or watch movies, uh, DVDs, MPGs, whatever. So go ahead and click on the install here. Mine says remove because I already have it installed. But for you, this remove button will actually be an install button. And you can read what it has here. Uh, there are going to be Microsoft fonts for websites to use Microsoft fonts. So it's a lot uh, prettier to view. You have Java runtime. You have the Java runtime, but you don't have the plugin yet. But after you install this, we'll go ahead and install the plugin. So that's basically it. After you install that, go to search results again. Uh, type in Sun Java plugin, and that'll be the first one on the top. Double click that. This would be the actual uh, browser plugin, which in this case is the Firefox plugin. Uh, for me, as you can see, I don't have this uh, available here. That's because this is what happens when you don't have those um, the canonical the source the sources I showed you earlier, the check marks on those two th canonical Ubuntu's. Uh, if you don't have those enabled, they won't be available. In this case, I don't know why I don't have it. I don't think I'm administrator, but let me check. Alright, very interesting. Well, it has the install button right here, but it doesn't have the install button in here. So if this happens to you too, uh, it's either because you haven't enabled the sources, which in case this install wouldn't show up anyway, but I just, re I just uninstalled it. But if you can't see it again in here, just go ahead and go back and just install it from here. Put in your password, and that'll install the Java plugins. Now, after this, uh, you can go to any website online. All of them work great. Uh, Java websites, Flash websites, YouTube, everything. Uh, they won't ask you, uh, tell you to go install the newest Flash, whatever. So this is one of the, I guess, uh, good things about Ubuntu in comparison to other systems like uh, Windows, for instance, because you got to go online and find the actual. Um, 
installers for every single one of those things for the Java, for the MP3, for the Flash, all of those. And you have to gather them together and one by one install each one. While on this one, you just install one package and it gives you everything. Uh, basically, that's it. Now you're set for the internet, for watching DVDs, movies, music, etc. So, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Hope this was informatory, informative. Yeah. And I'll be back later. Bye.